as we're all sitting there, everyone's talking about Chelsea having lost in penalties to Charlotte and Everton having lost 4 0. And everyone's saying, oh, I don't think Tuchel's going to make it to the beginning of the season. I don't think uh, Lampard's going to make it to the beginning of the season. Now, Tuchel probably will because it's not the same Chelsea. It's not Abramovich saying fire him right, every right. Two, every three weeks. He hasn't gotten a chance to disappoint the ownership yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it'll, it's coming. <laughs> but Lampard does seem like maybe there's a possibility a change gets made. I, I wouldn't. Should they swap? <laughs> <laughs> so, Lampard, you go back to Chelsea. Little club swap. <laughs> we go back to. <laughs> uh, look, guys, throw your keys in a hole. <laughs> right? The owners go no, to the party. The, the um, I, I, I think because of the, the, energy and motivation that that uh, the emotional experience of of Everton to end of uh, uh, you know the prior season. I think La- I think Lampard has a fair amount of time, uh, but w- realistically, and and a lot of people have made this complaint. It's just like I think uh, uh, I think Lampard is trying to play tactically the way he would play at Chelsea with Chelsea players, and he does not have Chelsea players. So I think the he's asking a little too much of uh, for with, with the style of play of from the players that he has, and a lot of people have made that point but it's uh i don't i don't see him leaving any any anytime soon i think he's gonna get a real shot i think more than anything the uh, everton needs some they need they need a stable home for a little bit they just they, they don't they, they they can't have mom dating 12 guys in one year you know what i mean you the kids don't d- develop an emotional connection to these men that are coming in and out of the house what are you are you the soul <laughs> of that guy who died in atlanta get in your body bro <laughs> i'm just saying you need you need some uh stability okay so i'm gonna name these are midfielders yes at everton and i need you to tell me if you think one of these guys this this is not even the updated this is, yeah, because Decore is, is gone. Yeah, there's a lot of people gone uh, over here. Okay, Fabian Delph is still with the team. He is not. No? He could have done it. Uh, <laughs> with this name, I don't think we can even no, mention. He's, he's definitely not on the team, yeah. <laughs> like, you already know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I ain't going to say it out loud. Anthony Gordon is still there. Uh, Camp- Anthony Gordon is still there, yes. Not a number 10. But he's, uh, I, no, not a 10. No, can he's he, a, he's a winger. I want to find out, can one of these players be made into a number 10? Should I go to transfer market? Maybe they have the more. Hold on. No, no, no let's go through. Okay. We have to listen to our final. Who, who can be a 10? Who who can we convert to a 10? The only- I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make an, I'm going to say a name here. There's two names that I have in mind. Okay. But let's, let's start with Alex Iwobi. Alex Iwobi cannot be a 10. Why? He is a, he is out, uh, a winger. He right is a winger. Midfielder. Good with the ball at his feet, though. Uh, not, but not that great a passer to be a ten. No, the uh, literally the Deli only Deli Ali. Deli Ali could be the ten. It, uh, he's the only one I think technically capable of 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 doing it and doing it at a decent level. But he is he is out of all the tens in the Premier League. He's not the he's not on he's not high up on the list. Who's currently your number ten? Who's currently playing as your number ten? I th- I think it's um, does Damari Gray kind of fall back? Um, Damari Gray winger, he's on the left. Um, it, it would it would be Decore. Decore would be the he's ten. Uh, Abdullah Decore is still there. Oh, is he? Yes, yes, yes. I thought he left. No, no. Okay. Fabian Delph left. Al- Al- Alan uh, is more of an eight or six. It, but this is this is it, there lies the problem because. They had a great 10 in James Rodriguez, who a great passer, a great left-footed player. This you is, have this thing with, Ale, with uh, James Rodriguez, bro. Because it makes no sense that you they... Mom like, and dad ain't getting <laughs> back together, bro. You need to move on. <laughs> um, uh, Go get yourself some candy. I'm going to make I'm gonna make your mom happy. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Yo, that one came from the reserves, bro. <laughs> that yeah, happened. But everybody knows what I mean, okay? Crimson Pizza says move a Wobi inside. I think a Wobi could do it. No, well, we can't do it. I mean, look. We're, How about a, a Wobi, a pl- Deli Ali, uh, central midfield no, pivot? No, that, that would be the worst. Because who, <laughs> who's going to be out wide? 
Who would be there? Nobody. <laughs> this, if you ask, this, if you ask Gilberto Silva, <laughs> <me. laughs> look, they, this is a, a huge, huge problem. And, and you know, we were talking to the guys from um, from Toffee TV uh, while we, when we were in um, in Baltimore, and we were talking about scouting, right? And and scouting in the area, mm -hmm. uh, and how that's changed in England, right? <laughs> Let's get fancy, fancy. We put mom. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> but uh, you can't make those comments for this chat, bro. <laughs> So we were uh, so we were talking t to them about w uh, what the, what the scouting is like in England and and like the way it is in MLS where it, uh, in the United States there's like it's regional like the so the clubs are only really allowed to scout from certain areas um, that they're near certain states that they are near and and that's just the, the you know you put in some regulations so that. Uh, you, people are not like f flying all over the country to right. try to get players or, or poaching players. It just may, it can make it a little bit difficult. Sure, uh, but in England it seems to be that th th those those regulations are not really there. So so th th so I say this to say that the 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 problem Everton probably has as well is like the fact that th that every you figure every four or five years you'd get a couple decent players like just coming through the ranks in the academy a couple players will make it through and everything Didn't you sell like lookman uh, yeah i don't know lookman left um would he not be helpful right now didn't you have someone else that you uh, sold Everton sells a lot of players, but they, they look. I, I, I would say that that the fact that there aren't like Manchester City has like a, a Phil Foden who came through. I don't know originally where he's from. Uh, I, I think he's a Manchester kid. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but but you know Everton has to compete with Liverpool for scouting talent, and and the fact that that more yeah. But even even if all you got was Liverpool rejects, you still should have a pretty good squad. I don't I don't think so. I don't know. I don't think that's the, that's. I mean, who knows? You don't know what talent Every you have. Every kid or don't that gets have. dropped from the Liverpool Academy should be welcomed into the Everton <laughs> Academy. I, I don't know. It's it, it's a it's a, a a frustrating situation that you would again. I think you would think every couple years there'd be one or two decent players that can become stars and Everton just doesn't have that either I don't know if it's luck or 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 there's something in in the foundation of how the club is run even from an academy level that they're not developing players to to, to become stars I, I, I it's hard to explain but it, it kind of just shows okay, look, it you, just kind of just shows the 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 there's more hurdles than simply the 11 that are on the pitch that this day. feels like you're making a lot of excuses though they are a team that has never been out of the Premier League they are a team that was perennially top 10 for a long time. Mm -hmm. You can't now say, well, look at all these things that have gone bad because you had one really bad season. Uh, and it looked like a second one is coming. So I'm going to ask you, give me two changes you would make before the season starts. If two you were Christian. Two changes would Everton, be. Everton. Um, which obviously is the owner of Everton. His last name is Everton. To never, one, never play three at the back. Always play four. Uh, at the back. Who would be your, your back four? Um, right now, I, I'm going to say... <laughs> oh, oh, <being. laughs> Dali Ali. Um, at left back, Vitaly Mikolenko. Mm -hmm. um, then uh, Tar Tarkovsky, Mina. And then, Tarkovsky's a beast, bro. He is, he is. Um, and then, but he's he's also coming from a, a team that was relegated. So it's not it's not to say that he's going to solve every problem either. You were you were half a point away from being relegated, <laughs> bro. But I'm don't, saying, don't be, don't be throwing stones, old glass house <laughs> Christian. <laughs> and then at right back, this is probably a tough one. Um, I, I I guess I would probably go with maybe Ben Godfrey. Okay. Sheamus is like. Ben Goffey's a better defender. Seamus Coleman, better Shame passer. old, though. Seamus old, man. <laughs> wow. Damn, bro. Duh, bro, I, I, I don't know. You I know will... he's injured, but I don't think he's recovering from that burn, bro. <laughs> you one of my heroes, but, bro, I had to. Gang graft after that burn. <laughs> Unleash Yeri Mina. Two changes, my favorite soccer theme, SoundCloud rapper. Two changes. <laughs> um, Wait, uh, Milton uh, Gurdine said, Townsend gone. Andrew Townsend is not gone, but he did tear his ACL last season. Uh, we did see him in 
in Baltimore, and he should be. I think he should be back uh, sometime in the middle of the season, uh, hopefully sooner. But yeah, we could we could use him. <laughs> the Bay Area Guna said, "Dusty Coleman." <laughs> <laughs> wow, that, bro, there's no recovery from what this. What is shit, that? Bro. That's, uh, He's getting it from both angles, man. <laughs> <laughs> the chat, the host, <laughs> it's over with. The, yo, the skinny one is being mean, bro. <laughs> oh man, uh, um, these all sound like league player, <laughs> league two player names. <laughs> yeah, they do kind of, yo. Tar- Tar- Tarkowski, bro. Uh, let's talk about Tuchel. Uh, do you think? See now that now that Chelsea doesn't have that sort of like fire a manager every few every few weeks thing, you know, it still feels like it. It still feels like Tuchel shouldn't have much more of a leash. Towards mm. the end of the season, they started to falter a little bit. Obviously, they survived it. But this guy, if you're Chelsea, you need a manager that's going to get you over. You would need to be able to get above Liverpool and, and City. This ain't it. I, I, I would say... Like year after year, like so it's the Chelsea way. They win by firing. <laughs> the, so this, this is look. I don't know what the exact. Uh, I, maybe people have a certain like preference of uh, of how to. Ma- if I was man, if I was the owner of a team and I wanted to hire a, a manager, I, look. Whether this is me thinking, uh, you know, not cutthroat enough, I would I would give my managers an opportunity to manage and see how how far we can get. He's had a season and a half. He's had to me that does not seem like that much time when you compare it to look at look at Liverpool, oh, look no, at City. No. How long have they been there? Sure, but they were progressing in a plan. Same thing as Arsenal. Mm-hmm. They're progressing forward through a plan. Some fans, some one of which is in front of us right now, didn't doesn't have the patience with such plan. You know what I mean? Right. Some fans want the changes to happen a little bit quicker, you know? <laughs> right? And some of us, me, are genius and know that if you just wait a little bit because, you know. So you so under that under But there is no progression in this plan. I uh, highly disagree with <laughs> They won. By the way, the fan I'm talking about, furious right now. <laughs> we they get a won Champions League, and according to your barometer, Mikel Arteta should not be the manager anymore. What? Why? Because you, you said it. Tuchel has has had a, just a year and a half. He's made how many finals? He has yeah, won, lost some FA Cup finals, uh-huh. league some League Cup finals. But they're where is they, they're not degressing. You can't argue that they're going backwards. They just can't. They can't get up. How can o- I not o- argue that? But they can't get over the mountain, which is uh, Manchester City and Liverpool, which are the world class, the top, the top two managers in the world. How I don't know how far. Like, and in fact, you're saying that, but I don't know if you want to pull this up. Klopp said himself. This is a quote from Klopp. He said, I have no idea who will make the race. It looks like City in the end will be the champion. If we hadn't been champion, I think they would have won it five or six times in a row, which is crazy in this country. I mean, this is City and Liverpool at this point are like immovable forces, you know? Right, right, right. Uh, Couldn't pull it up? Uh, yeah. I read it already, so don't worry about okay, it. Okay, okay. But um, – when you think about like someone like Klopp, who I, I think sometimes he does this to be a little bit sort of like reverse ra- uh, reverse racism, <laughs> reverse psychology was the word Damn, I was looking bro, for. Bro. Really? Is this, <laughs> you yeah, Klopp to, is more of a men's rights kind of a guy, so I apologize. That. No, Klopp is great too. Um, Klopp's an absolutely great human being, but uh, from what we know. I mean, but, look at that smile. I know. Right? It's fake. Uh, you know he's got fake teeth, right? Um, he does. I mean, yeah. He has veneers. He, he has uh, veneers. You got a BBL. That's all good. <laughs> That's right. They put it in the wrong place. Um, did you see that lady in the plane whose BBL exploded? I did see that. <laughs> that was great, dude. She had, to be, she had to go in reverse outside the plane. <laughs> bro, she got wheeled out backwards, bro. <laughs> it was hilarious. She looks like she fell asleep on an ottoman. Right. And they were trying to move her out without waking her up. That's basically what she looked she like, like. Yeah, it looked like she was leaning over a sex toy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not letting go. Yo, just a reminder. Not, not yet, at least. To anyone, if you plan on getting a BBL... You, you need to chill. You can't. You gotta rest for <laughs> several days before you fly back home. You just, can't get right back home. People <laughs> gonna know you got it. I know you're trying to get back before you think anyone's gonna notice. Exactly. Okay. Uh, but anyway, I forgot what we were talking about. No, here's here's what I think is wrong with Chelsea. Towards the end of the season last season, they didn't play well, right? Mm-hmm. And then the beginning of this preseason, 
they're getting dusted by a team that they were better than last season in Arsenal. Right, right. But they also play. I mean, it is preseason. I mean, how much how much uh, weight are we putting into these matches? Do you want to go through the starting lineup? I, I, I answer my question first. How much weight are we putting into these matches and these results? And I'm going to answer that by telling you who who played in this match. OK, for how long? How's that sound? Go for it. OK, so the match against Arsenal, their starting lineup was Timo Werner up front. Just behind him was Kai Havertz, Mason Mount, and Raheem Sterling. Behind him was Connor Gallagher, who they were begging to get back because he's so incredible. I remember that. Did you see the penalty against Charlotte that he took? <laughs> Just Connor little... <laughs> Gallagher, bro. <laughs> uh, Jorginho. You got Reese James, Chalaba, who, I don't know what, Chalaba got bit by a radioactive Harry Maguire, bro. I don't know what's going on over there. You got uh, Tiago Silva, and you got Emerson. Right. This is, and Mendy in goal. This is who you started. It's also. That squad is no joke. I agree. I mean, Arsenal squad ain't no joke either. Sure. Mm -hmm. We're talking about a relatively uh, team with some relatively new players in it. We've got a brand new center back who's 20 years old, who, again, I said will be the best center back in the league when Virgil van Dijk is gone. But incredible center back. You got Gabriel uh, Jesus, who hasn't been on the squad. You've got Martin Odegaard passing to him. Martinelli, who was a backup last season starting. You've got a team that presumably is the, their best starting 11. And we dusted them, bro. It's preseason, That's dog. it. But I'm, it's I'm saying, preseason, but, bro. But even, even at the half... People in the VIP section, you know, with their pinkies out, like how I like to be, <laughs> they were all saying, like, yo, this feels like a like a like an actual Premier League uh, match. Right. These teams are going for it. I mean, it didn't it didn't really look like Chelsea went for it. They were, they were not going for it, bro. <laughs> they um, look, two nil in the first half. I don't put I don't put too much uh, stock in in wins or losses in these uh, in, in in preseason unless there's just straight up disorganization and poor performance, which which is what I would say about uh, about Everton, especially in that game against um, against Minnesota. Look at what Jamal said. Thank you, Jamal. Um, finally, he's agreeing with me. Um, he said, Mikel Arteta's Arsenal's progress is seasonal. His project was 10 years behind Chelsea, and now his Arsenal team are on the same level, if not better than Chelsea. Tuchel UCL wins, is uh, the, the Champions League win, is what has kept him in his job. 